Hey guys and welcome back to the latest installment of the Twin Beer Travel video series. Today we are super pumped to look at another Our 3 entry. This time our 3 favourite food cities around the world. A topic very, very close to our hearts. Yeah, absolutely. When uh, Liam brought the idea to me, I was so excited. I decided we should dump all other tasks that we had. Um, so basically the video today is just going to be me and Liam. We're going to be eating different foods. Uh, we'll probably move all of this, just have the food ready to go. That, um, sorry guys, that's, that's not what we're doing. We did rehearse this, but that's not what we're doing. We're actually talking about um, the foods in these cities. I thought you were just, talking about that. Just kind of relaying oh. the information for the guys so they, so they know what to check out when they're Miscommunication. in these places. Oh. So we'll keep moving along, yeah. um, just yeah. clearing that up. Coming in at number three in this list um, is Hanoi, Vietnam. From refined French fine dining options to down-to-earth local joints specialising in one type of dish, dining in Hanoi is something to savour. There had to be a Southeast Asian city in this list. It's so popular all around the world, particularly in Australia over the last 10 years. And from my personal experience, Hanoi takes the cake in that area. If it's good enough for us, and it's good enough for Barack Obama, it's absolutely good enough for you. The US president was spotted recently enjoying just $6 noodles in the Vietnamese capital. Clearly he is well aware of the city's culinary prowess. Very unique food in the city, famous for street food at a quality standard with unusual ingredients, so something different. We advise eating like a local and taking to the streets for freshly prepared dishes such as furry chow, noodles with a sweet and sour soup, pork and fish sauce, ban mai, a baguette filled with pate, cucumber, herbs, crispy onion and chilli, just to name a few. The hot tip that we give you guys is to make sure you check out Bon, bon Cha. Bon Cha is a dish of grilled pork and noodle, very famous on the streets of Hanoi. It's served with a grilled pork patty, or cha, and white vermicelli noodles, or the bum. Usually it's served with some bang goi, a pork or onion mushroom spring roll type item. The best restaurant, our hot tip that you guys need to check out is La Verticale, also known as Huan Kiem District. La Verticale is a fantastic fine dining restaurant housed in a colonial style mansion. So if you want the true experience of Vietnamese food with a really elegant, elegant twist, then this is one that you need to check out. Where did you get that? I don't know what I thought. All right guys, and coming in at number two is Bologna, Italy. I just got back from here, and if you want to put on some easy kgs, this is the place to do it. Okay, so basically, Bologna, known in Italy, is La Grassa, which translates to the fat one. <laughs> After its food, which is generally considered among um, Italians as the country's best, numerous specialties originated here, most famously Bolognese sauce and Bologna sausage. It's positioned at the heart of northern Italy, close to lakes, plains, and mountains making it an obvious focus for a wide range of ingredients and produce from the nearby cities. Not at least Parma ham um, and Parmesan cheese. Food lovers will find the city teeming with food stores, street markets and fantastic range of eating options. From fine dining to simple trattorias. Best restaurant in Bologna, we put it down to the I Portiki. Hotel's restaurant. Proud owner of the only Michelin star in Bologna. The restaurant is definitely among the best. Among the most elegant and delicious restaurants in Bologna, it is a long way from the classic and traditional Bolognese trattorias that many come to Bologna for. However, from the menu to the obvious, um, you will see the Bolognese, uh, Bolognese influence. Essentially, our number one pick to truly embrace Italian food experience in a more elegant atmosphere, you know? So, that's why it's number two. What? Where are you getting this food? It's bolognese I made before I came. So you've seen our number three and you've seen our number two. Let's see what takes the cake for the very best food city in the world. According to us, we've given it to Tokyo, Japan. More Michelin stars than any city in the world. The Japanese capital has a mind-blowing 226 Michelin star restaurants, leaving it light years ahead of its nearest rival Paris with a mere 94. Danielle Demetrio, a famous British writer, says the following. It's not just about sushi. From tonkatsu pork cutlets and unagi eel to okinawaki pancakes and all things tofu, Tokyo is home to a dizzying quantity of restaurants specialising in an array of Japanese cuisine. 
Best of all, it caters to all budgets, from wallet-busting skyscraper restaurants to atmospheric local izakaya, Japanese-style pubs, where tapasized food is washed down with beer and sake. Tokyo, Japan, they have no silly importation laws, which means they get the absolute best produce. Europeans export their very best to Japan because they know, dare I say it, they have better palates than others amongst Europe and across Americas. Just recently, Seville Magazine named Tokyo the world's best food city in the world, and that is a very expert opinion, and we could not agree with them anymore. A couple of the famous Tokyo dishes that you want to keep an eye out for. Enome Zushi, Tempura, and Kabayaki. Make sure you check our written blog to find out a little bit more about what they are. In terms of picking somewhere to get the very best experience in Tokyo, Japan, uh, Tokyo, Japan culinary experience, check out Sushi Saito. Sushi Saito offers outstanding sushi in a very warm and welcoming environment and widely considered to serve some of the best sushi in Tokyo. The atmosphere at this three Michelin starred restaurant is surprisingly relaxed considering the high caliber of its food. The chef speaks good English and is happy to chat with the customers, explain the menu and even pose for photos. With only eight seats, reservations are absolutely essential. Sato uses aged fish and carefully controlled temperatures to create his tender sushi. Well, at least give me some. So that's it guys, that's our three. Our three favorite food cities of the world. Now, we said at the beginning that we'd give some honorable mentions and we're gonna throw them out now because as you know, the world's a big place. There's a lot of food out there. So first of all, it's London, UK. Amazing food there. Jaipur, India. New York, best pizza. Um, Lyon, France. And Mendoza, Argentina. That's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you leave all your comments below. Take it easy. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. Give me one. So that's it, guys. Uh, my mouth is full. <laughs> 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 I didn't eat it early enough. <laughs>